Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you where the access control devices are connected to and basically how the brain of the access control system functions. Hello everyone, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaccess. In the previous video, we showed you what a typical access control door uh, was, was installed or, or was um, you know, designed. Uh, you know, with the request to exit, the door contact, and the card reader, right? Uh, now, in today's video, I want to show you um, where are these devices typically connected to and how the brain of the system, which is the access control, the main controller uh, of the access control system, uh, functions, all right? So, like we um, showed in the previous video, um, a door typically consists of a card reader, a, a locking device, like a door strike or a mag lock, a door contact, and if there's no exit reader, then typically the integrator will install a request to exit, which we call a REX, okay? Um, the ICT Protege GX system also has another input called the request to enter. Let's say if there's a button uh, under the receptionist desk, you know, to unlock a door. So it's basically like a second request to exit, but we can program it with a different uh, functionality, okay? So, and this is very similar to other access control system, but now I'm obviously showing the product that we sell, which is Protege GX from ICT, okay? So this is the main controller. This controller will make all of the decisions uh, in, of the system. So when you badge a card on the card reader, the system will send the data to the reader expander or the, and then the controller. So the controller will say, okay, is this person allowed to that door at that time? Yes, then the door will unlock, okay? So this is basically in the back end how the system works, okay? Now, in terms of the door, um, you know, uh, mechanical equipment around it, like the, the lock output, for instance, uh, which is basically a locking device like a door strike. Um, so this is what we have here. So for instance, this is my door contact, okay? So if I open this without badging a card, I have a door forced open alarm, okay? So this is basically where, um, you know, uh, we have a status of the door that is being continuously monitored in the system. So this door contact, all right, in this example here, it's basically zone number five, which is right here, okay? So on our system, zone number five is a door contact of the second door, okay? And then there's zone number six, which is here, request to exit, and the door unlocks, okay? So this is when I was, in the previous video, when I was under the motion detector for the request to exit device, the door will unlock and then open automatically because at that door we had the door opener, okay? So again, zone five, door contact, zone six is the request to exit, okay? And then underneath hit here we have the lock outputs, okay? So if I unlock the door with the request to exit, we can see relay two being on, which is typically connected to a door strike or a Mac lock, okay? So this was basically how the input for the Rex can unlock the door, okay? And the card readers, in this example, um, they are powered from the power supply, 12 volt DC power, and, um, and basically the, uh, the DC output of the reader expander. And then we have the, uh, the RS-45 cables right here, which is the A and the B for the RS-45 reader. So these are now wired in ICT-45 mode. Um, some other systems will only accept Wigand, but as we discussed previously, we really encourage our customers to use RS-45. It's a lot more secure and it's all encrypted, okay? So basically, like this is the brain of the access control system in this example, uh, you know, so um, this is where the, the um, every uh, door contact request to exit device and the car reader is connected to, okay? We can expand the system with several reader modules to add two doors and more to a system. Um, on this example, uh, we can reach up to 256 doors, including uh, wireless lock. So it's a very powerful system. I thought it was a good idea to show you what an access control is. Um, you know, we showed you uh, what a door looks like when it's controlled by access control. Now I've been showing you what the access control hardware looks like in the back end. You know, the brain who's taking all those decisions. Um, you know, in access, we've been in the industry for a long time. We, we, you know, we've been selling ICT products since 2005. Um, we have very good people that knows their stuff. They know how to help you with plans and, uh, you know, how to quote this system. But if you have any questions regarding any access control system uh, or, or the ICT Protégé uh, GX or WX systems, uh, please send them down below. I'll be more than happy to help you uh, the best I can. So, again, thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaccess. See you soon.
I stop. <laughs> I need a beer after that. Really, I'm tired. 